Hello and welcome back to Carmston Farm. So we start uh, this episode with uh, giving back to the community and uh, we are doing that <laughs> in the form of slurry. So why are we doing this? Well you can see from the mini map that uh, the nitrogen level on this field is absolutely horrendous. There is nothing. So we need to sort that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it to the minimum and um, yeah, hopefully next time we'll get a better yield and yeah, it's just uh, doing our bit and offloading some of our slurry as we go. So we are on the headland still. It's a reasonably slow process and my driving doesn't help that, but we're putting a between 60 and 80 units of nitrogen on the ground at the moment. And you can see bottom left mini map, that's actually enough for grass. So since the update to the precision farming mod, um, you can't over fertilize grass. So we could have come in here with our fertilizer spreader and we could have put on the maximum amount that we could apply, disable the automatic application and it wouldn't have mattered and yeah so the only problem doing it this way is we'll have to do it again next time we cut it but we've got loads of slurry so why not and it starts the day off a bit different so we'll just get this last can we put it on down here is it doing it it is indeed right so let's just while that's there let's jump in take a look so we can see where we have and haven't been which is always good so let's just get rid of that a sec so I oh, know it's down here isn't it so you can see this score that we're trying to improve is for the common land it's only down at 45 and that's probably dragging us down overall you know on the bonus that we get so it's worthwhile doing not quite sure what we're going to be able to do with this area over here so we just flip through you'll see that so don't know if we're going to get it up all the way but definitely doing the areas that we can access is uh, is going to be benefit us so we'll crack on with that and i'll uh, see you in a little while so just uh, filling up with the second load of uh, slurry and you'll see that um grass has been cut had a bit of a mowing session uh, between the episodes so this was turned into hay and that has all been delivered up to the new cow barn same with the sheep field come on out the way uh, no can't see him there we go they're fine so yeah uh, we had about 28-ish bales off that so that's helpful took one full trailer load up to up to the cow barn and then the remainder went to the shelter by the horses because they obviously need the hay as well so all the animals are set now which is really good that's out of the way ready for when we are busy doing the harvests so I'll get back down and uh, carry on with uh, putting some slurry on that field so last bit of this area now and this is the third load so really good we are not making up having to make loads of trips one thing I have noticed and I think I know why it is is if you look at the mini map and it's probably easier just to show you here so the soil type for this field is all silty clay near enough so let's say 95% silty clay if we go to the nitrogen map you can see there's a line here which 
corresponds to where the sword type changes but the rest of it is really stripy now I was thinking oh what have I done wrong but then I remembered that slurry now with precision farming the value of the nitrogen within the slurry varies so I was like okay that actually makes sense so you can see where we've done the headlands where we've stopped turned around gone the other way so yeah I was like oh very good indeed right let's get this finished off and then we will head on to the next field right so we've uh, had a go at improving the nitrogen in the uh, community area we'll have to uh, make sure that that uh, stays uh, empty and cordoned off for a day or so while that just gets absorbed into the ground don't want anyone uh, getting uh, poorly from the slurry <laughs> felt a bit weird doing that to be fair in that area after we put so much effort in making it a nice place and then going and covering it in slurry but hey never mind right let's get this uh, back to the cow barn and uh, probably call it a day there I think right then I've been and checked on all the animals they're all fed so uh, we will hit the sack I think well we're into the second part of June now and uh, tractor is in desperate need of a bit of repair so okay, that's the light switch where's the trigger there we go 7,000 there we go that's that done so we'll jump in and get her fueled up because I think what we're going to end up doing is skipping forward to July because there is not a fat lot to do at the minute we'll uh, hit this refueling and um, take a look see if there's any contracts we think are going to appear but I doubt there's going to be at this time I think we've done everything so I'll check back in a minute and uh, we'll see what we're going to do right then mid afternoon and uh, no contracts available but the animals need a bit of attention so what we're going to do is we're going to give water to the sheep come on little tractor this does need repairing as well to be fair um, and we need to top all the chickens we need to do a feed mix at sorry sheep the old cow barn And I think that was it. I think everybody else was all right. There we go. Let's just have a look while that tops up. So, sheep are good for grass. Water's being done. Chickens need topping up. Pigs need topping up. They're okay. They're okay. And we could probably do with selling or delivering a load of milk and topping up the cows at the old barn so plenty to do right first things first let's get the milk delivered and then uh, we need to rearrange some of the cow feeding equipment right then I think we've got everything we need back down at this farm for now get the straw topped up and then just over there is the big vent with the mixer on so we'll have to make a mix up and uh, get the cows topped up and then we can skip forward to July well it's July and it is 20 to 6 in the morning let's get the time sorted and uh, we've got a field of linseed to harvest so we'll head down there now I have um, leased a different trailer now they have been used before by others but I'm not too fussed about that oh tree 
Um, it's the Richard Weston trailer. And uh, they were released a couple of weeks ago now, I think, on um, Elite Gaming's Discord. They are brilliant models. So we are going to use one for today's linseed harvest and we will probably use them when we do the foraging so not only the poppers but also the corn so we'll go and have a quick look around in a second let's just get this header attached probably turn the beacons off now Turn the engine off for a second. We're going to have a quick look at this trailer. So yeah, Richard Weston trailer. It's the SF18 HS Plus that we've gone for. So this is 22, I think, thousand litres. Had the cover on it. Got strobes. That's brilliant. I love them. They look great. And I had the black rims as well, just as a... Just because they just, yeah, we like a black wheel. So, let's get the baby fan out of the way. And then we can start the harvest. So, the plan is that I drive the combine. There we go. Oh, man. There we go. That'll do there. I drive the combine and. Course plate, no, not course plate, auto drive drives the big vent with the Richard Western. So let's uh, crack on with the harvest. So we'd repaired this combine before and upgraded it before we moved on to the version 1.2 of the map. Oh, look at the colour of the dust. How cool is that? That is super realistic. Um, yeah, so we'd upgraded this combine. So it's got more power, more capacity, and we repaired it before swapping the map over to 1.2. So that's all done and dusted. Let's have a look at the grain if we can. Very nice. Oxygen David has excelled himself again. I love the colour of the dust, that's very realistic. How are we doing for yield? Very good at the minute. So, hopefully, you can't hear any background noise, but the windows are open here because it's a tad warm. I'm not complaining. It is a tad warm. Just a bit there on the corner. There we go. Just there we go. So yeah, it's tad warm. So windows are open. Try and get some breeze blowing through. Had a uh, busy day recording. Did an episode with Disturbed this morning. That we thought was going to be a shorter one. But still, I've just finished editing it and it's still an hour and something, so we're not doing too well at getting the length of the videos down. We just chat. <laughs> By the time you know it, it's uh, an hour in and uh, yeah, it's too late to do anything about it. But anyway, so that's Sunday sorted. Um, this will be, this video that I'm recording now will come, come out after that, but hey. Never mind, we can talk about it, can't we? So, let's um, get a couple of headlands done and uh, we'll catch up in a little while.
Um, I don't know why, um, but I couldn't get the uh, trailer to come to me. So, oh, the trailer to come to me? Yeah. I couldn't get the vent with the trailer to come to me in the combine. So, yeah, that's why we are here. Why has the pipe gone back in? Goodness me, we're having a mare, aren't we? Come on, there we go. Right, pipe out. No driver with the same target available. See, I think it should work. If anybody knows why, then do let me know. Continue. Hmm. Anyway, right, let's get this. at the linseed for the first time. Very cool. Nice. Like it. So, I hadn't realised as well that we can actually get a straw swath off uh, linseed. I uh, did not know that. So, let's crack on. Get this unloaded, moved out of the way and uh, yeah, see if we can make some more progress. Right then, so we've filled the trailer that's good the yield is pretty good I'm happy with it also the straw is just a bonus because I hadn't realised um, that we could uh, get straw off linseed don't remember it from before um, on 19 if it was in, not, was in 19 I can't remember so um, yeah all good so that uh, is going to clear off now into the distance and uh, we can carry on with the harvesting. So I made a cut across here because it's easier. Um, set up a GPS course and um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we get on. We're not far off finishing now. This is uh, yielding rather well, to be fair. So let's just set that on cruise control. And we're at 68,000 litres. We've just unloaded another 12 into the trailer. Got that working now. I just need to um, my pipe out and put the uh, beacons on, which is very realistic because that's what you would do, I believe, in real life um, so yeah all good I do like harvest time it's just yeah all the all the hard work we put in getting the fields prepped and sowed and 
fertilised and weeded and all those good things and uh, now we're seeing the uh, the outcome from it so actually while we're in here I'll just show you our precision farming score so we're now at, for this field we're at 98% the only thing that's down I don't know why is nitrogen now whether that's because we've lowered it again now yeah maybe so I guess it's a rolling score isn't it really you have a good nitrogen harvest bad nitrogen rinse and repeat so yeah happy yield is good a few places that were about 80 percent 75 percent but that's the soil type so yeah all good happy with that so let's uh, get this turned around and uh, we'll finish the field all in all it's going rather well happy with everything we can get the straw we need to get that bailed there's a couple of contracts that have appeared now finally i think there's two cultivating and one that was so let's have a look i don't know what we're on about bailing so field seven again so that is for hay oh, there we go yeah so hay we could do that maybe get a bit more cultivating might run them in the background same bit of kit oh that would be a good one okay we'll keep an eye on them but for now i think we're just gonna plod on and uh, get this field finished just uh, wanted to check out the uh, Richard Weston tip in there. Bit of a geek, I know, but they are uh, brilliant mods. So we will now take over from you. Thank you ever so much for your assistance. Let's uh, go and unload the combine. Uh, we can uh, get at the bailing. Right, so baling is going very, very well. We've got the worker with the trailer over there collecting the bales as we go. I think we are up to, let's have a look how many we've got so far. 19, very good. So these are the biggest we can do. And I think for now, probably we'll store them at this farm rather than... Uh, the new one as we don't have that many cows yet at the new one so they're not going to need as much but yeah it's going well so um bit of a time lapse i think and uh, we'll get this done now and uh, we're not gonna get a, quite a full bale off uh, here but never mind so there we go raise the pickup bale her off and unload 
folded up. And what did we end up with bales wise? 41. Not bad at all. So the fence full, but I've had a cunning plan. So we are going to store all the store off this field at this farm and all the straw off this field of linseed, field 20, at the new cow barn. Makes sense. Not as far to uh, transport it. So, yeah, so we'll get these uh, off the field and, uh, yeah, catch back in a second. Right, so we've got uh, one load of bales here and we've got another, let's just run down here, tucked away in this shed here. So, that's all good. We have got, uh, what uh, did we end up with on the linseed? Let's just have a quick look at that. Right down to the bottom, he says. Uh, where are we? There we go. 95,000 litres. So that peaks in December. Very similar price to barley. So that's all good. We've got quite a fair old bit of it. I don't think the production takes it. No, it'd be a shame. To... It'd be good to have it so you can make it into linseed oil, but... I'm sure that will come at some point. But I think for this episode, that is about it. I uh, I might have a look at the uh, cultivating contracts. Just to, to boost that cash up a bit more. Uh, 46k is reasonably healthy. So, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the episode, leave a like. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.